How's it going everyone? I'm KBT and today we're going to look at crafting this body armor. So this is a body armor which has about 3000-ish armor. It's going to have 7 to 10 mana reservation efficiency of skills depending on how much you want to spend. And it's also going to have some other types of defenses such as physical damage taken as fire, and physical damage from hits taken as lightning. It costs about 2 to 5 divines depending on how lucky you are and we'll get onto that in the next section. So if you like the look of it, then keep watching. So this craft is RNG pretty much all the way. It's low risk RNG. There's no risk of you um, messing the armor piece up in many ways. You've just got to keep rolling until we hit what we need to hit. And then from then on, it's just about finalizing it. So it's just a mid cost. If you hit it in five hits, then it's relatively cheap craft. If it takes you 50 hits, it's going to get more expensive. So I've ranged it between two to five divines. I've never spent more than five divines trying to craft it. And I think if you look at it, it's worth, definitely worth that. Uh, one or two of the divines is paid upfront just to purchase the body armor with a fractured T1 armor on it. And then it's going to cost 12 chaos every time you use a perfect fossil to try and get 30 quality. It, it's somewhere between five and 25 in order to get that. And then after that, our final thing is going to be 12 chaos per attempt or five chaos per attempt using our loathing essences. If you choose tier one, then it's gonna be 12 chaos. If you choose tier two, it's gonna be five chaos. So significantly cheaper and we only get like one or two points percent difference. So uh, we'll talk about that later, but that takes anywhere between five and 40 attempts to hit something reasonable. So, Terminology for what you're going to encounter in this video is we're going to be using fossils and essences. So fossils can be found in the delve mechanic. You can purchase them online as well and we'll talk about that in a moment. Now in order to use a fossil you need a resonator with a certain amount of sockets and you need the fossil that we're going to be using which is a perfect fossil which improves quality. You socket the fossil into a resonator and then you can use it to craft. And then we're going to be using essences. These are found on essence monsters throughout maps and late in the campaign. We're going to be using deafening essences of loathing, which is tier one. Or if you want the cheaper option, you can use shrieking essences of loathing. Again, these can be found on the trade website and I'll put up a little clip that shows you how to buy them in bulk. I would suggest that you buy them in bulk of 10 or in bulk of 20. So a little demonstration on how to purchase things in bulk. From the trade website we want to go to bulk item exchange here and then we want to say what we have we have chaos usually um, and then we want to select what we want so first let's look for delve fossils and we're looking for the perfect fossil which is this one now before we press search which you can do you can type minimum stock since we're purchasing you know 10 or 20 we could say only show me people that have got at least 10 so you save yourself some time um, so here we've got this guy's got 17 and he sells 10 each so you can only actually buy 10 uh, This guy is selling them for 9 chaos each and he's got 10 so you can go Give me all 10 for 90 chaos whisper him see if he responds if he doesn't move on to the next person and Get a get about 10 to 20 um, Before you move on and that's how you bulk buy from the trade website so if you stuck around, we're going to start by going onto the trade website and searching for our body armor. Now this is going to be a glorious plate body armor because it has the highest base armor to work on. And for item level, 86 is required if we need a tier 1 percentage increased armor to roll later. So if the market is kind, you can find one, that's what you want to go for. If the prices are way too high or they're not really available then we can drop down to item level 84 required this will allow for the tier 2 percentage increased armor to roll later we also need to make sure that our body armor has one of these two fractured modifiers on it so we can either go for plus to armor and then later on we will roll the percentage increased armor or we can go for the percentage increased armor as fractured and then roll for the plus to armor so the prices on the right i think if we're item level 84, then we can only actually get tier 2 percentage increased armor. And honestly, 99% for one divine is a lot better than 4 divines for 100% or 12 divines for 108. So I think 
do the cost analysis and and then when you've got a body armor we'll go on to the next step so a quick demonstration on how to search for your body armor so in the item category we'll type body armor and it's specifically a glorious plate so in the top we'll type glorious plate and in the miscellaneous tag we want to go for item level at least 86 to begin with that will allow us T1 rolls. In the stat thing, we're looking for two armor. We'll look at this one first. Local, that means it's on the item itself. Um, but we want it fractured, so we'll click it again and click fractured. And we want at least 450. So, a glorious plate body armor with at least 450 fractured to armor on an item level of 86. There are none. So if we move that down to 84, which means we can only get tier two maximum of increased armor. We've got some pretty nice ones. So 450 armor, uh, which is a T1 roll. Uh, that's 10 chaos, that's really cheap. Um, 471, uh, what's that like? Really cheap. If we click it, it goes in reverse order. So you see the, the highest of that particular value first, 55 chaos, uh, divine. So I'm scrolling down to see like one or two divines. So I'm looking for the highest value for a reasonable price that I can afford, that I'm willing to spend. So 1.5 divines, or 1.4 for 4.79. So that's pretty good. You can go with that. It's item level 85 or 84, so they both can get only T2 percentage increased, but I think that's really good. Alternatively, if there's nothing around when you're looking, you can go to the filters here, and we can look for, uh, instead the opposite one which is increased armor local and then click it again to get the fractured uh, if we type in 86 uh, we'll see that i think they're tier ones so that's really bad we'll click it to go in reverse order eight divines for 104 percent four divines for 91 percent which i don't think is a good deal three divines for 82 percent now the reason these are expensive is because they're all on item level 88 bases or 86 which is pushing the price up so if we say okay we want a tier 2 base right so that's like 99% because this particular um, modifier is the one that needs 86 so if we say we're okay with eight with tier 2 this we can still get tier 1 2 armor because this is the, the 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 modifier that requires 86 so we can get 100% increased armor for two divines, which is, is pretty good. I think that's the one you would go for. 100% increased armor for two divines. You can still get tier one, the other one. Uh, so yeah, there you go. So now that you've purchased your glorious plate body armor with a fractured tier one to armor, we need to turn it rare if it's not already. So use a regal orb on it. This allows us to craft fossils and essences upon the item. So the first thing we want to do is get the quality to 30%. This will increase the numbers of all our stats and um, it's a lot easier to do when it's like a base item and it's got nothing that we want on it. We're going to use some perfect fossils. Socket a perfect fossil into a primitive chaotic resonator. This will reforge the entire item of all its stats but has an emphasis on making the quality 30% at the top. So. Hit it until it gets to 30%, anywhere between 5 and 25. I mean, it could be a 1,000 because that's how statistics work, but anywhere between 5 and 25 is usual. Um, good luck. So now you've got 30% quality on your chest plate. We're going to be using Essences of Loathing. Now, we have a choice between Tier 1, which is Deafening Essences of Loathing, or Tier 2, Shrieking Essences of Loathing. So Tier 1 guarantees 9 to 10%. Of increased mana reservation efficiency of skills so this will help with your auras it will reduce the amount of mana reservation it causes and you might be able to fit in an extra aura later on or you can go for the cheaper option which is about five chaos as opposed to the 12 chaos before and that's the shrieking essences of chaos these only guarantee seven to eight increased mana reservation efficiency of skills so depending on your budget choose which one you want to do and then we're gonna start hitting it. You'll always get the increased matter reservation of skills, but everything else will be re-rolled. 
So whilst using these essences, we're looking for the other modifier that we haven't got as the fractured modifier on our item. So if we've got plus to armor as our fractured modifier, we're looking for percentage increased armor at tier one or tier two. Now, if your item level is 84 or five, then you can only get tier two. It needs to be 86 to get tier one of this. If, however, your fractured modifier was percentage increased armor, then we're looking for tier one or tier two of plus to armor. Both of these can roll on eight, level 84, it doesn't matter. It's just depending on how unlucky you get whether you stop rolling at tier two. So the next step is basically we're just evaluating what we got. Welcome to essence crafting. It's quite variable but we can get some really good stuff and we can get some really poor stuff. So I've got some examples here for you. So the first example, we hit tier one with a godlike increased armor roll. However, we also got the prefix plus six to maximum life. There doesn't seem to be an easy way to get rid of that plus six to maximum life and it is absolute garbage. I here would recommend trying to a null, it's a one in three, trying to annul that prefix to maximum life. If that's the case, it's a god tier item. We can then craft, can have up to three crafted modifiers and then craft a prefix and craft a suffix. So that's what I would do with that particular item. We also got to 3000 armor, which is great. So on the next body armor, we got a decent tier two increased armor, 98%, which is not bad. We did, however, get two suffix, which are pretty poor. Um, reduced attributes and a lousy lightning resistance. This is probably the most awkward because it's not bad, but it's really, you can't do much with those suffixes very easily. You could try two annuls, but you know, it's a 50-50 whether you'll manage to hit those two. So that's an awkward one. Uh, you've got one slot you can craft on, maybe that's good enough for you. Otherwise, we can just go on to the next one. The next one we've got a tier two increased armor, which is good. And we got one suffix, which is also pretty good. It's only tier five, but 4% additional physical damage reduction. That's good for our build. And we've got an open prefix slot and we've got an open suffix slot that we can craft on. Amazing. I mean, that is a really good piece. It looks simple, but it's really nice that we didn't get a lot of junk. We got an open prefix, which is what we really, really want and uh, then we can do something special with the uh, suffix and try and get some nice resistance on it later so there's some examples on the on the variants that essence crafting can do so if you've got any questions you can put them in the comments and i'll try and answer them but let's move on to the next step so if you did manage to hit the increased armor and you've got something you like the look of then we want to try and craft onto it now if you've got any open slots left Ideally, we've got a prefix slot left, so every armor piece can have three prefixes. This one only had two at the top, so I crafted a third one. And there's some really good prefixes that can go onto this body armor. So ideally, this is where we want to craft. We've got percentage of physical damage from hits taken as fire and physical damage from hits taken as lightning damage. Really strong for righteous fire builds. We've also got percentage increased armor, evasion, and energy shield, plus to maximum life. That's one craft. And that will push your armor over 3,000, no problem. If you can't do that and you've only got a suffix slot, then some good things you can try are percentage additional physical damage reduction. Or you can just craft some resistances, fire, cold, lightning, or a combination. So if you finish your craft and you've still got an open prefix slot or a suffix slot, then the only thing you can do is Exaltor, which adds a new modifier randomly to that item. Now, what's interesting is that we do actually have pretty good odds to get something useful. There's only like one or possibly two things that are not very good for us, block and stun recovery and reduced attribute requirements. But there's a lot of good things in there and they're not weighted unfairly. You've got cold fire, lightning resistance, you've got reduced damage, We've got loads of really good stuff, so you can't really do anything else. Just use an Exalt Orb and hope for the best. So that is the end of the craft. Hopefully it went well. Don't forget that you might as well stick on a couple of lesser Eldritch Embers and some lesser Eldritch Ickers to add new Implicits. 
There are some really nice ones, increased fire damage, plus one to a maximum resist, whether that's fire, cold, or lightning, or plus one to all maximum resists, which I do recommend for now. You've also got like in the Ica side, we've got determination as increased aura effect, which is what I recommend unless you're going for something specific. You've got increased life recovery rate, increased armor. Purity of ice is good if you're going for melding of the flesh, but it is pretty specific. Um, I'm not saying you have to dump a lot in. It's quite outside the scope that we're going to go over how to use orbs of conflict and all that other stuff. This is just, you might as well use a couple, get something good, and then your armor piece is looking real good. So don't forget, you can use sacred orbs to get a better roll on your base armor. If you hold alt over an item, it will tell you how good your base armor roll was. So in this case, we got 817 between a roll of 776 and 892. And so we got about a mid roll. So we could buy some sacred orbs for about 20 chaos each and try and get a high roll. And that will exponentially increase the armor because it will be increased by percentage armor that's already on the item. So that's a good way of getting a little extra armor if you had a particularly bad roll. Hopefully it went well for you. That is the end of the video. Let me know how your chess piece went or didn't go and uh, I'll see you again next time. How's it going everyone? I'm King Blacktooth. I wanted to show you the full process of the craft uh, in game using the trade website and everything, everything included. Just so because there's a lot of variants, we can see the decision making and just the entire thing without cuts. Um, so we can just see how it goes, providing you know, I can trade easily enough. So the first thing we need to do is get the get the body armor with the fractured base. So we'll go onto the trade website and there's two ways to do this, remember. We want body armor. We want a glorious plate. Um, Cause that's got the highest armor. And we want item level 86 minimum uh, for the first way and for the second way we want a lower one. So let's try uh, two armor. Tier 1 to armor, uh, that says local, we need to click it again and look for fractured version of it. And then go for that. Are there any ones? So, oh wait, we want a, uh, well at least like 470 on it. Um, so there's only one available and it's 473 for one and a half divines. Um, I would like a little bit higher than that, I think. Yeah, all right, we'll go the other way. So instead of fracturing to armor and then rolling increased armor, we're gonna look for increased armor fractured. Oops, increased armor local, and then click it again for fractured. And we can lower the th thing down to 84 here. And um, we want at least 100, 100%, which is tier one, I believe. Uh, no, that's tier two. Two divines, four divines. So we're a bit more than I'm willing to spend. Let's go down to 99. Uh, let's see. Okay, we've got a 99% increased armor for one divine. Item level 85, which is fine because increased uh to armor tier one is only 84 or 82 84 i think so we can buy one of these uh it doesn't matter what stats so i guess i'll buy this one i'll check the sockets while i'm here i suppose but they're both rubbish so they're both well this guy is online so we'll do him one divine let's see da -da 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 -da. oh there he is Sweet, okay. This is our chest plate. We got it, we got it. Oh, booba, <laughs> boobas. Okay, 85, that's fine. There you go, you can have it, thank you. Let's let's go into the, the exile, or see. Okay, uh, next thing, so we've got the chest plate. Um, we've got the chest plate. I've got a bush, bunch of essences ready. I need to go buy some fossils now. because That's the first thing we need to do. Um, so let's go onto the trade website and find out how we're going to do fossils. Um, so we want perfect fossils. 
I'm going to buy about 20, depending on the price. Oh, actually, let's go to bulk items. Bulk items, I've got chaos. Items, I have chaos. And we want fossils. Perfect. Where's perfect? There it is. Little triangle one. Okay, let's... Um, so, let's... How do I... Let's just say online only. Okay. So, I'm looking to see how many they've got. Because I want to buy 20. I only really want to do one craft. So, it costs about 8 per time. But I find a lot of early people don't do it. 14. This guy's got 14. Maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just try and buy 14 for now. 126 chaos. See if he responds. No, he's not responding. Uh, I generally find the people at the top don't respond very much. Uh, not many people have got perfect f things, actually. They're costing 10 a time, 11 a time. Holy this guy's got 24. Um, 330 for 24 fossils. And that's 13 each, I think. 13 chaos each. Sure. Let's see. Five, one, two, three, four, five, one, ten. Three hundred and thirty chaos. Now any left over I can obviously sell for other things as well. So even though I'm spending a lot here, I can always try and sell them later. Um put these in. You can hold all over something to see how many it is. Three hundred and thirty twenty-four. Fine. Good. Thank you. Uh, and then we need the resonators to um, go back up to the top. Resonators, just the one primitive. Let's see. So we need about 24 of these as well to sock it into. So this guy's got 50. Uh, let's try and ask for 24, which is 48 chaos. And we'll see if he responds. I must have time 48 to chaos. Uh, let's put these away. All right, he didn't respond. Uh, somebody has got 100, so maybe we can ask for 24. I don't know if we're small fry. Offer no longer available. Okay, sure. I guess that took a bit too long. 50. I think we did him a second ago. Um, this guy's got 1,000. Is that is he a legit person? Uh, I want... Let's just go for 20 of them, I suppose. See if he responds. He's got 1,000? Holy shit. I'm swearing. Uh, how many chaos was that? 56. 20, 40. Uh, 16. He's got 1,000? Maybe this is got this is that guy's um thing, you know. This is how he's earning currency this league. 20 of them. Okay, thank you. So, we've already got 20. Uh I could buy another four. I could buy another four just so that I've got 20 full tries, but we'll we'll keep that. Um bam bam is that all I need? Uh, more essences. Um, I could buy some essences of loathing. Let's go up to the top. We'll go to the bulk. And we'll go to essences. Oh, I'm still selecting these apparently, which I've got to get rid of. And loathing. Where are you? Rage, wrath, doubt, anguish, loathing. So yeah, you can go for tier tier two. Tier two is I think you know three to five chaos, something like that. I'm gonna go for tier one baby, which is about twelve to thirteen chaos each. 
Uh, 9, 18, 20, okay. 9, 18, 20 odd, 27. Um, so we'll try and buy like nine or 20 or something. He's got seven. Not a lot here. I think most people buy them in like really big bulks, but yeah, there doesn't seem to be a lot of people. This guy's got 10. Sure. See if I buy nine from this guy. The Ari responds. 117. He does not respond. This is an interesting video. Hey, 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 interesting video. Uh, this guy's got 14. So let's just buy all 14. 182. There we go. 120, 40, 60, 82. Ooh. Gets expensive easy. Oh, there is a setting for minimum stock. That's cool. I like to I like to see all the others though. There is a setting for minimum stock. I like to personally see cuz I don't want to, I don't want minimum stock to say it's 15 chaos when I could buy a few smaller stocks at a lot less price. So that's 14 and this is 182. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we've got all our materials. We've got them all. Now the craft is going to go wrong. Nah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, so I've got how many here? 32. I've got 32 essences of loathing tier 1. I've got 24 perfect fossils and only 20 resonators, so I've got literally 20. So I'll get rid of that, I suppose. And we got a chest piece uh, with 99 increased armor. We're about to, we're we're about to do it. So first thing we need to do: we can't use fossils or essences without making it a. Um, okay, let me just let me just tag him over here because. We're gonna be we're gonna be running from here, I think. In case I need something. Like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, there we go. Okay, cool. We're only going to go and bloody do it. Okay, so we got all I got a bunch of resources. Whether it'll be enough, I don't know, but any that I don't use, if I get lucky. Uh, I can sell. We've got uh, 20 perfect fossils, which reforge the entire item, but em emphasize improved quality, and we'll try and get to 30. We've got 20 chaotic resonators with one slot, um, primitive ones, so we can slot them in. We've got our chest piece. We decided to go for a fractured increased armor. It's tier 2, because um, tier 1 was 8 divines, and tier 2, the highest roll of tier 2 nearly, is uh, one divine so I saved seven divines for about four points four percent uh, and there wasn't any level 86 there wasn't any item level 86 uh, two armor fractured um, whereas if we do it this way around we don't need 86 we only need 84 so we've got an item level 85 we've got how many of these have we got 32 tier 1 essences of loathing which adds Increase mana reservation efficiency of skills to nine or ten percent of it. I've got a I got a regal. So the first step, first step, everybody. I'm pretty nervous. First step is we need to make this a a rare item before we can use any fossils or any essences on it. So kabam. It doesn't matter what we got. Okay, so now we need to try and get that 30 quality. So we're gonna be using these. Do I have to do it one at a time? How do I socket them in? Is it literally one at a time? Yeah, it is. I think I've literally got to do it one at a time. So a tip is when you've got a stack, you can hold shift and it'll click them out one at a time like this. Right. And then there we go. We're just stacking them all in holding shift to just do this. And there's the other one. Okay. Can these stack? No. Okay. All right, cool. So it looks messy, but it's cool. There we go. Now everything's neat. 
So now we're going to hit these, and we can hold shift again to just keep slamming them. And we're trying to get to 30 quality. Uh, 15, 28, 22, 26. 30 quality, nice. So we saved a bit of money. Saved a decent chunk of money here. Pretty fucking nervous. Okay, and now the big one, essences. Now because we did, again, the increased armor, we are going to be rolling for tier 1 to armor, or tier 2, depending on, depending on how picky you want to be. If you hit like tier 2 early, you might consider re-rolling until you get tier 1. Uh, but if you're on your last few essences, you might just be happy staying what you've got. Streamer RNG indeed. So do this and then let's see. We got increased armor and uh, stone and block. We don't want that. So hold, hold shift to keep using them and alt at the same time to see the, the things here. Um... Uh, to armor seems to be going down there, so don't want that. Um, tier 11. Pretty nervous. Tier 4 to armor. Tier 9. Tier 7. Tier 6. Don't, don't get stressed. Don't get stressed. The armor piece can tell when you're stressed. Okay, I ran out of I ran out of essences. We've got to go buy some more essences. Okay, so we're gonna keep keep going and good luck to us. Hold shift, hold alt, bosh, tier four, tier three. I'm going super slow now. Tier 9. Tier 8. Tier 2 to armor. And considering I've only got one left, I am tempted to keep it. And also, it's worth noting, it's always worth noting, that... Um, this is the best outcome you can get, right? You've got two prefixes and two suffix. You haven't got a load of rubbish that's filling up extra slots. Crafting onto the prefix is really important. So even though it's tier two and tier two, um, strength is good, strength is good. So I'm gonna definitely keep it here because I've only got one left. <laughs> but also, this is a really good piece. If you saw in the guide, earlier like this was the best bit we're going to craft onto the prefix one of the stronger uh, crafts that we can do and then we're going to exalt these the suffix and we've got a lot of really good stuff in the suffix uh, a lot of resistances uh, there's only one or two things we don't want in the suffix so okay um we'll do a quick price check on that afterwards let's just go and craft i hope i've got the craft i don't know if i've got it this league let's find out uh what am i looking for i'm looking for a prefix and it is um, yeah, we go. This one. Four chaos for this. Um, so we got six and six percent. Great. What's really nice is that if you get it wrong, you can just uh, you can just hit it again if you want to try and get. And so if you get a five and a five, you can just hit it again to get six and a six. Okay. Uh, my text is all crangled. Okay. I honestly think I got a tier one very early. I honestly think I got a tier one very early in the in the rolling and I rolled over it, I think. I'll have to check the video, but <laughs> I think I did. I think, I swear I saw 400 armor earlier. I swear I did. Uh, okay, we got that. And then the last thing we can do is just exalt orb it. Uh, look, I have an exalt orb, great. Uh, and again, there's only two things, because it's hitting a suffix, there's only two things we don't want, which is reduced attribute requirement, um, which... In this tattoo world, might be okay. Uh, and stun and block recovery is the thing we don't want. Uh, so let's go. 31 lightning resistance. I will take it. Thank you. Okay, we didn't get 3,000 armor because we compromised on tier 2s. Uh, if we got tier 1s, we would have. 
Um, very happy. Let's do a price check on this then. Okay, so we got these and this. 13 divines. Um, 13 divines. Armor, strength, higher strength, less armor. Got good lightning resistance on his though. Okay, so his is six linked as well. So, yikes. Um, so I'm guessing mine's worth like maybe 11 divines. Um, so probably about 11 divines because we got tier twos rather than tier ones. Um, but not bad. I'll put it on for a bit higher and then lower it over time. Uh, let's go to the craft and we'll make it public. And we'll try it for 13. I mean, we did get, uh, you know, good stuff, 30 quality and such. Oh, 13 chaos. No, 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 calm down. People gonna really come in and get me. <laughs> Okay, so that was that was the roll. Um, I would generally say I got. What would you say I got unlucky? Or do you think I got lucky? Um, I definitely didn't get lucky. Maybe I got lucky with my fossils. It only took like four or five or something, didn't it? Um, but I got unlucky with the essences. I think. Um, I'd say it's a mid. I think it's a mid-level uh, outcome. You can definitely get outcomes which are a lot horribler, where you've got you've got some suffixes that you don't want, and that are really horrible, like stun and block recovery, and you probably want to re-roll over it. But uh, I would say I got a mid-tier version of the outcome. I didn't get a top-tier version, unfortunately. Um, yeah, there you go. Thank you for watching. I'd say it cost me like at least one two three four. it cost me about five divines i think five or six yeah it cost me about five or six divines and i'm going to be selling it hopefully for something like um 11. Uh, i put it up for 13 in case someone wants to take a hit but that's a win i'd say that's a win uh, i think i can sell it for like 11 uh, or 12. what's the what's the last thing i mean i could I could put some little crappy embers on it and try and hope, you know, that people make it look better. It looks better. Um, why not? Let's do that. I've got so many. I've got so many lesser embers and stuff. Um, what do people want? They want fire damage or... I'm going to roll over that because all maximum resistances is good. And we want something like determination. But determination was pretty difficult to uh, to get, so maybe I'll just keep it as life in increase life recovery rate. There you go. Uh, let's go for thirteen divines. I've made it a little bit better. Didn't cost me much to do those because I run those types of things anyway. Okay, there you go. That's looking like a piece of armor that exists. <laughs>